Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Awful rainy Saturday today. So, what is better than making a nice slingshot on a day like that? And here is the raw material. <laughs> a huge old tree stump. Part of the root, I think, of a tree that was felt in my garden probably 20 years ago or something. Let's see if it has a core that is worthwhile saving. Only one way to find out. As you can see, of course, parts of it have been completely rotten, but parts of it are also fairly healthy. Let's see if we can isolate a big enough chunk for a nice slingshot. I think this is our slingshot, right here. Here you can see the slingshot, now we have to saw it out. Looks like I'm destroying the habitat of a family of ants. Well, tough luck guys. Wow! <laughs> Other than that, you can see the slingshot emerging. Okay, now we will dry it in the microwave oven and we'll using bursts of uh, 1 minute of 600 watts and then 10 minutes cooling. 3 bursts should do it. You can see the water boiling out of the slingshot. This is because the microwave heats the uh, slingshot from within, pushing out all the water. Okay, here you can see that there is also a lot of sap coming out of the uh, dead wood. Very sticky actually. Amazing, all this resin came out of the wood. Now once it's properly dried, you might want to close the gaps with a little bit of epoxy mixed with uh, wood chips from the own wood. Um, just because it looks better and it also helps stabilizing the slingshot. If you have a crack that you are really suspicious that it might cause harm, then you can always pin it. I like using metal screws for this and glue them in with epoxy simply because of the threading they just have more surface. Okay, now the basic shape is finished. And as you can see, the old ant home is also covered with the epoxy and sawdust. So it's now ready for the final shaping. Okay, now the slingshot is uh, shaped. Feels really good in the hand. And now it is time for the sanding. Now the slingshot is in its final shape, it's sanded and now you have to be absolutely happy with the shape because from now on the shape is not going to change at all. Next comes the oiling and that will bring out the grain in a wonderful way. I love Deadwood for that. Now look at the difference. Of course, now we have to let it soak in and repeat the procedure a few times and then we have to keep on sanding until it looks like this without any oil on it. And this is how it came out. You can see the repaired ant holes inside. 
it is really comfortable in the hand because those finger grooves are made for my hand. It's really a custom slingshot. It's a little higher than my usual frames. Uh, that is because I wanted this to be old school. <laughs> Let's bend it up and shoot a few shots. Okay, a nice reasonably short one layer Theraband gold set and we're shooting uh, 16 millimeter steel balls. <laughs> Super easy. Well, I hope you liked my little Saturday project with a chainsaw made slingshot. <laughs> because that's it for today. Thanks and bye bye. Yeah.